Hello to YouTubers, citizens and everyone else. Uh, this is Maki and recently we just got a, a free fly period on uh, uh, Star Citizen and uh, some questions uh, arose in the comment section uh, about how you place ships. So I thought I'm gonna make a quick tutorial here how the hangar works. So this part is for the hangar. So what you see in front of you is one of the hangar alternatives you got. Uh, the one that is a bit luxurious. So what you can do when you get in here is that you have this little machine here, which lets you jump into the virtual reality of uh, Star Citizen, which is the Arena Commander. And from here you can access the different modes. Uh, this was made before you could access Arena Commander from the start menu. So that's an option you have to decide yourself if you want to use or not. Uh, if we continue down, we have these little small platform areas here. The first one doesn't do anything, but the next one, however, does. So here you can place vehicles, and with vehicles we mean the smaller buggies. So if I click on that one, it will spawn in, just like that. So what I did was I walk forward until I get this little blue dot. Then I have my mouse cursor on it, I press the left mouse button, and I get this menu up here for spawning vehicles. And I can just press the vehicle I want, and it will spawn in. And the same thing if we want to remove it, then we just find that little blue button, we press it, and then we can just place remove, and it's gone. The same thing, thing is uh, happens with the vehicle or ships, more exactly. So what you need to do then is you have to run around here looking for those small dots. For example, here is one for a size 3 vehicle, and I don't have any size 3, so I can't place any vehicles there. Or, sorry, any starships. And here we have a size 1 to 2, and I do have a few of those. So as you can see here, we have the F7CM Super Hornet. So I'm pressing that one, and it should pop in here. There we go. And it just popped in, and it's hovering. Ah, that's better. So as you can see, I just spawned it there, and if I move forward here, I can press the guns, and I can change different guns, for example, if I want to do that, or I can change the, uh, let's see, I can change the missiles if I want to do that. Uh, so I can interact with the entire ship from here. I can also jump into the ship if I want to do that, like this. And this is a good way to explore your ship without actually having to launch into free fly or launch into the PU. And if I want to get out of the ship now, I just press uh, or I just hold F and it will let me exit the ship again. And I was just pressing F once to activate the entire anim animation sequence. So now we have spawned that ship. Maybe we want to remove it to place another ship. So we go to that point underneath the ship and we press remove. And the ship is gone. And let's say we want to spawn a larger ship, then we have to go a little bit further down here. And you see we have vehicle 1, 2, 2 size, and then we have size 4. And on size 4 we can either uh, spawn the warden, then we have to run out a bit for it to pop in. You can see item blocked, and there it spawns in. And as you can see it takes about half the spawning area. But then if we run to the other side, here we also got another size 4, so we can spawn in an Andromeda for example. And then we just have to run back to the ship itself, and then we got Andromeda right there. So if we just run down here a little bit, then you can see they take quite a lot of space. Last but least, we have uh, one last ship spawning slot, if you have the ships, where you can spawn in the big ones. Okay, so now we just remove the last, the bigger ships here on size 4. So we have the size 1 to 2, and then we have size 3 that I didn't have any ships on, and then we have size 4. So last but not least, for the hangar, we actually got, let's see if, where I am, uh, there we go, around, if you just run around the middle, you'll get size 5 to 6 vehicles. So as you can see, I'm really far out here, uh, towards the main exit from the hangar. So I'll just press that, press that and then I can press the star fire. 
which is one of the bigger ships I got. And then we can just see if we can run out to the side here and it should pop in. And as you can see, that thing takes up the entire hangar. Uh, that's a uh, biggie. So as you can see, it takes up the entire landing pad. I don't have room for anything else. But then again, uh, that's a ship that just about fits the hangar. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the hangar bay. But before we exit this, we're going to have a look on one more thing. Actually, we're going to have a look on two things. So for example, if you run into this back area, you will have an elevator. And from this elevator, you can get to two places. You can access Crusader or you can go to Arc Corp, which is one of the ground maps that will be available in 3.0 but you can go there right now but you can't access a ship from there but you can but you can shop however uh, with your alpha uec and stuff like that so i said we were gonna uh, leave that there but i lied so what we're gonna do now is actually gonna jump into this elevator here and i think yep it's closest so now i'm gonna go up And then we're on the upside. So as you can see, we can just stand here, look down, look at the ship and all its blink lights. And uh, yeah, like may as well go through this. Then you have floor items. For example, if I want to, uh, maybe I have some flares and, oh, holy crap, flares and stuff like that. And we can place those there. Uh, same should be with the walls. For example, if you have a painting or something like that. You can place it on the wall as well. So you can customize your hanger. I don't know what this is about. Ooh, hat and monocle. Okay, yeah, I spent too much money on this game. Or a balloon. Uh, right. So as you can see, you can customize quite a lot. And later on, they, I believe they are going to add a few more rooms with star maps and stuff like that. But until then, this is all you can do in the hangar, which is quite a lot for it just to be a hangar, to be honest. So let's continue to the next one. Okay then, uh, this is the main menu. You have to excuse me for not taking things in the main order, but uh, yeah. We have just gone through the hangar and uh, I was talking about electronic access. So we're going to just jump in there quickly. And from here you got the Arena Commander and Star Marine that will be available in 2.6. But from Arena Commander you got two different areas you can access and you have, for example, you have the, uh, yeah, you had the basic flight training ones, but I think they disabled that. Uh, we have the Drone Sim. Drone Sim is single player, so that means you can do a Vandal Swarm, you can just do free fly and just test your ships out in a safe environment without other players. players. Then we have Spectrum Match. This is uh, multiplayer, so that's where you can do uh, Vandal Swarm, you can do Free Fly with other people and whatever you want. And then of course, last, last but not least, we have the Universe, the PU, the Persistent Universe, the thing that everyone wants to play with. Uh, fr and from here you have the Arc Corp, which is the ground map. I'm not going to jump into that. And then we have the Crusader, which is the Persistent Universe, where you can spawn at Port Olisar or become a criminal and spawn at Port um, Port Hex or whatever, or yeah, which is, for, is the pirate one. Um, so that's pretty much it, to be honest. And I hope this will help some of you new people to understand how you do how you do things and how you spawn in your ships and your hangars. Uh, once again, if you have any questions or if something is unclear, uh, because I've been talking quite fast and with a bit of strange English, so if you have any questions or wondering anything, just pop down the question in the comment section and I'll try and help you the best I can. This is Mackie, signing off. <laughs>